Imagine this, you open the oven on Christmas only to find that your turkey is too dry or too bland. So now what do you do? No worries, because there are three sauces that will save your turkey this holiday season, and Chef Devin is here to make them with us. <laughs> All right, I love that you're going to help us with our turkeys because yes. if you are in a situation where your main meal for the holidays has gone sideways, uh -huh. that is very humiliating. That's I, so embarrassing. That's common though, isn't it? It's How common. often do you have dry turkey, boring turkey, bland yes. turkey, overcooked turkey, uncooked mm. turkey? It's just, when is there ever good turkey? Well, it's rare to have the good turkey. It's rare. So help us save the turkey now with well, the sauce. Well, this is what I want to do. I want to show you three different ways. One of them's not a sauce. It's actually a compound butter. Nice. But I want, I want people to challenge themselves a bit, and I want us to get away a little bit from the gravy and the cranberry sauce. If right. you do those, that's fine. I'll yeah. judge you. Well, they're but that's fine. <laughs> but they that, just gasped in the audience. But, no gravy? I know, but but that's you okay, though. You don't need it. And you know me. You know I try to do things a bit differently. Yes. And I've always tried to uh, go above and beyond. I've taken a lot of risks. You do. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing that we're working on here is I have soy sauce reducing mm -hmm. in a pan. One of my favorite dishes ever is a Chinese dish. Yes. It's soy sauce braised chicken. Oh, that's good. So that's the inspiration. Yeah, it's, it's a winner right off yes. the bat. It's something you'll never forget when you eat it. So I thought that would be the inspiration. So it's very simple. I just have some soy sauce in here. Okay. And you add some lime juice to this. Yes. And then you're going to add in some sugar. Okay. And for about, oh, I heard oohs and ahs. If you, Ooh, it's just, just sugar, sugar. Just sugar. If you have about a cup of soy sauce, you can add half a cup of sugar. Good. But again, the recipe is on City Line's website. And the soy, I mean, the soy is going to be salty. The sugar is going to be sweet. So you're going to have those competing and flavors. And you also have the lime. So this is a lime yes. soy glaze that we're making. So you have salty, sweet, yeah. Sour and the fourth, memorable. Mm, That's what we want. Yes. Right? So we're going to move this around. This is going to reduce down. And when this reduces down by half, yes. you'll get left with a beautiful glaze. Now, I have a really good okay. tip for you. Whenever you're making any type of glaze or uh, any type of uh, like a balsamic glaze, a soy glaze, a white mm -hmm. balsamic glaze, yep. when it's in the pan, it's really, it's almost impossible to know if it'll be, when it cools down, if, if it'll be ready to use. Okay. So, tips that we use in the kitchen is we'll take a little bit of it and we'll put it onto our cutting board or the counter. Yeah. And that way you can judge how sticky it is because it cools down almost instantaneously. And you want it to be sticky, right? You want you it to be sticky. You want it to be at this kind of consistency, okay? This is really right. important when you're doing that. Okay. So this is the consistency that you want. But when this is hot, it's going to look almost like it's completely runny, like it's not going to set. Right. And then when it comes to this consistency, when you have your bland turkey, yes. this lime soy glaze that hits all those notes that we want, this is what's really gonna jazz it it's up. It's gonna pick and it squeeze, up. Squeeze bottles are really cool too. That's so good. So be generous with it. And yes. uh, this is what's gonna make people come back to your house every year and put you on the spot every year. That's good. So even if you don't know how your turkey's gonna turn out, it makes sense to actually try these uh, three toppings for your turkey. Definitely. Because it's always gonna take it to the next level. And buy squeeze right? bottles too. Buy squeeze I know, bottles. I love these are really these. good. So you get little guys. The next one that I wanna do is a compound butter. Okay. So I have room temperature butter here. Yes. This is about what I'd put on my toast in the morning. <laughs> so that's there. <laughs> and we're gonna take some thyme. Again, you wanna get the leaves off the thyme. Thyme is a woody herb. So yeah. we want to get the leaves off in there. Okay. That all goes in there. We need to chop up some parsley now. And I'm going to get you to roll this up. So this is going to be a much thicker uh, topping that you're going to put on your uh, turkey, yeah. right? Yes, but I'm going to show you a little trick, and you're going to see how this goes down. OK. So the parsley goes in here the time. I'm just going to turn the soy sauce down as yeah. it's reducing quite a bit. And we're going to mix all this up. To this, we're also going to add some salt, which I have here. And also, I have garlic confit oil, so garlic confit oil goes into here. How do you make garlic confit oil? Well, that's what I was about to ask you. Just to put garlic into a pot, cover yeah. it with oil, bring it to a boil, and as soon as it comes to a boil, reduce it off the heat. All right. And then you'll be left with a smushable garlic where the pungency and the toughness is gone. And you basically just have that sort of set aside for whenever this you This is something it. that it follows me around everywhere. It's in the bathroom, yeah. it's in the fridge, <laughs> it's at the kitchen. Yeah, your this, house smells good. It's little things like this that are really going to step your game up and take it to yes. the next level. So I'm going to put this down here, and I want to see if you can do this. You want me to roll it? I, I want you to roll it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And what we're looking for yeah. is the finished product, a nice log, OK? OK. So it's kind of like we're doing sushi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ish. Yeah. Look, it, look, no, it's coming together. It's, it's coming together. Bad, right? And now, this, the, the, the key part, yeah. and then you're just going to roll it back and forth on the counter, just like this. Like that? And pull, push, push your hands together. Like you that? Try, yeah, as you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Now hold it up. <laughs> And that's, that's it. That's perfect. 
So you're gonna take that. Yeah. You're gonna put. You're gonna put that into the fridge. Okay. This has been sitting out for a little while, but the reason why you put it into the fridge is so you can slice off these medallions and these coins. Got it. This one has smoked paprika on it. Yeah. You simply just remove the saran wrap from it, and as your hot turkey comes out of the oven, oh. this goes onto the turkey, yeah. and then that melts down. That's beautiful. Yeah. That is, it's, it's good, so, and that would should be melting, but you know. Well, it, I know, yeah. I know, it's not hot right now. But so this would be good for a dry turkey. Uh, yes, definitely right? for a dry, a dry turkey, turkey. That'd be really good. Turkey, you overcook the turkey, or That's you just need some extra added flavor on the turkey. That would be great. That's it. The next one is probably my favorite. What I have you got going on I have there? roasted red peppers here. Yes. Red wine vinegar. Oh. We can add a little bit of parsley too if you want, but this is going to be a red version of a chimichurri. Nice. And I'm just going to blend it for two seconds here, and I want to show you. I want to get a little bit more oil. You notice yeah. how it's a red color right now, right? Yep. It's so beautiful. As I blend it, you see how it completely transforms and you have this bright, vibrant, vibrant color. Yes. It's beautiful and it's orange. And this oh, is for your over-the-top nice. turkey. This is a super simple recipe. Okay. Roasted red peppers, parsley, you can add garlic and salt, but really it's just an acidic red pepper sauce. All right. This is what's going to take your turkey to the next level, not only with flavor, yes. but visually as well. Do you put in a little squeeze bottle? Uh, you can. I like the little squeeze bottle. You can, or you can just spoon, you can just just spoon it over. Sort of like it's nice but look at this color, though. Like this, this is something someone won't forget, right? Yeah. And really easy to make. That's yeah. it. If you buy the red peppers, if you buy the roasted peppers, it takes seconds to make. And like these are three things that'll change the game for turkey. I love the ideas you have. They're so good and they're so different. Yep. You should try them out, even if you just choose one. We are putting all of them online. Yes. You gave us the recipe. Yeah. Cityline.tv. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. It's tough with these chefs, you know. We need the recipe to put it online for the people.